and welcome to AF Math and Engineering. If you're enjoying our channel, hit the subscribe button and the like button down below as we're always releasing new content. Enjoy! Hi everybody, this is Avi from AF Math and Inge. We are doing our second video about how to write a successful resume. This is example number two. The only reason that this example doesn't appear in the first video is because the first video was pretty long. If you didn't see the first video, I would recommend you to go and see it because this video is kind of boring. The first video has like a nice uh, slideshow and it will give you the basics and in this video it will just be a plain example. Here on the left side we have an ad that I just picked from a random website for a position as an administrative assistant. On the right here I have a resume that I believe would get you the job if you would be applying for this job. Take a minute. Stop the video, read a little bit uh, what I wrote, read what they are asking for, and then we'll go over it. So, as you can see in the ad, we have the requirements, which you can see a college degree, administrative experience, strong computer skills, good time management. That's the core of what they are looking for. In the responsibility section, they are kind of giving you the day-to-day activities in the company and what they are actually expecting you to do on a day-to-day -day basis so you can go over that and understand like what's kind of going on on the top we just have the description of the company and on the bottom some benefits so let's go to the resume if you remember we talked about a chronological order it starts with highlights skill summary professional experience education and leadership and activities in the first video i called highlights and skill summary in a different name and here I try to do a different type of editing to just give you like another option and to let you do something else. The difference here is that in my highlights, I'm actually going to be very general and zooming out saying I have this experience, I have strong Microsoft Office skills, I can type 60 words per minute, I'm great in organizing, great at multitasking. And in the skill summary, I'll actually talk about past experience that I had in previous jobs, okay? Uh, I provided administrative assistant, I answered phones, I directed calls to departments, I worked well independently, you know, these types of things. In my professional experience, I added one job which was relevant, but like I said in the first video, you can add previous jobs even, even if they are not relevant, just find a way to kind of show that you still had like good customer service, you still were like hard working, you know, add that. Even if it's not very relevant. But if you do have relevant experience, then I would advise you to just show what is relevant. And it's nice that you worked in a supermarket before, but it's better to leave one or two relevant job experience and not just try to fill in the page and write irrelevant stuff. So that's what you should do for professional experience. Education, of course, it's one of the requirements. And leadership and activities. If you remember, we talked about this in the first video. If you didn't volunteer until now, now is the time to start volunteering. The good thing is that you can even do a one-day volunteering. Just show the employer that you did something else other than just studying, going to work, coming back. It will give you a real good value. Okay, it would kind of take you out from all the other people and show that there is something more in you. As you can see, every requirement that was requested was replied in different words in my resume. If they ask for strong computer skills, particular, particularly with Microsoft Office, with the ability to learn new software quickly, you can just copy and paste it in your resume. Here, for example, you can see I wrote strong Microsoft Office skills and it doesn't look good because they will just think, this guy just copy and paste it. So what you can do, you can take the word strong in your resume, go to synonyms and try to find a nicer word to use. For example, solid. So now we have solid Microsoft Office skills, you know, and just don't copy and paste because I told you that they are using a software to find keywords, but also the software will disqualify you if you will just copy and paste everything. Okay, that's about it. I think those are the essentials here. You understand what they want. You understand what's the requirements. You understand what's the responsibilities. You understand what they want and you integrate it back into your resume and that's what you will be sending. 
Remember, this is just to get you the interview. I know that you have a lot more things that you want to add, but this is just what you need to get you to the interview. In the next video, I will explain about cover letter and how that business works. So stay with us through the next video.